the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Redskins going up against the Ravens. Larry, it has been a wild ride through this 2019 NFL season. Plenty of plot twists and turns at every step. But it all comes to a conclusion tonight as we welcome you to Super Bowl 54 from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. To throw on second down is Smith. And that is incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Back deep, a Baltimore native, Tavon Austin. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 36. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good conception. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his right. Got it complete to West. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard right at the 20. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's go! Looking to throw. West. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. Here's Smith. He hits West underneath. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. They'll come out in the pistol. Now 
Now Smith on third and goal. Flush to his right. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend, but don't break approach. Take it in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I'm ready now for second and nine. To pass, Flacco to the right side and complete to Njoku. And he is knocked down from the side at the 41-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And they get the completed pass, but still have more to go here on third down. From the gun, Flacco. Gets this one to Morris. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big gain of 31 on third down. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what they're saying. Interestingly, that throw is probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Only a yard on the pick up there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. from the gun and he fires one but incomplete well too much oomph too much mustard there on that pass. that went sharp strong didn't lead to a completion though made it very difficult that is inches from the upright it's no good wide to the left and this score will stay right where it is Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. On first and ten, Smith. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Smith now on third down. He'll let it go deep for, into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Ed, 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 
They get the pick. Now what can Flacco do on first down? He's going to float this one deep right side. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Second and ten. Flacco once more. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. A nice gain of 21 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football, and they've got it here with a first down. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Ravens are in for six. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Oh, good move. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I love when a play results in a game that I can actually kind of fall back on one of my favorite adages. And that is, any time there's a run over 10 yards. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. On second down, here's Smith. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Give him three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And now here come the Ravens. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking it worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. You'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. And all the way to the opposite 49-yard line. A big run there by Johnson. 44 yards on the ground. Play action. Flacco. And a throw right sideline is complete. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, coach is always talking for Flacco. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A.J. Green, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And he's 
having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? <laughs> no chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Aaron Donald able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Here's Smith now on second down. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it's third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept him on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now it's Smith. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. And they're definitely showing blitz here. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Brandon, that play certainly felt like what I call a tendency breaker. First and 10, they dial up a draw play. That's not a normal situation, but give credit to the defense. They were fooled at all and really finished off the play. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. Much more makeable third and two. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. Looking for two yards here on third down. Flacco. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive. And it was third and short. Okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. Pulled in at the 24. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Jackson's got it over the middle. 20! Touchdown, Washington! Deshaun Jackson, 67 yards. And the Redskins get the quick strike touchdown. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, 
move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go to Johnson again. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll wind up being a loss at... Now Flacco, looking deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. On first down, it's Smith. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Smith to throw on second down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Third and long, it's Smith. He finds Beckham complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. the 50 at Smith throwing the out route incomplete that's Reed that's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down well I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football don't drop it but drop it there yeah in that situation <laughs> dropping it would have been better end up losing yardage even though they completed the pass as good as a sack yeah how about that although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help them at contract time Smith flushed out right. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. The Redskins on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third down and 12. Throwing on third down, Smith. It's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. They begin the drive with Johnson. So, so the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. 
change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Passing play, Flacco. Oh, incomplete, nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So now we look at the Redskins offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had a punt refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll roll him out right toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I know we're doing this game live, but let's, let's step into the film room for just a second because when they review this play, oh, the negatives are going to be incredible on this one. Rolling out to his right. Yeah, he's right-handed, so that's a natural spot for him. But he throws back across his body back into traffic. Big no-no. Oh, that's a monster no-no. The only good thing that happened, it fell incomplete. Very fortunate. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. And not great starting field position here for the offense. The first down carry here for Johnson. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And here come the Redskins now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Tim Williams leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Over the middle complete. It's Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Smith on first down. Setting up the screen for West. And he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 
The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Ravens' offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The busy night continues for Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now Flacco. And Green with a catch left side. And taking it across midfield and inside. And they're on a roll. It's another first down. Back now here on EA Sports. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. So here we go, first and ten now. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Jonathan Allen. In there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Now, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Dante Fowler in there to drop him for a loss of 10, and it'll be fourth and long. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. <laughs> to throw on second down is Smith. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. That catch good for five. It's third down. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now Smith. Jordan Reed has it. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. A first down throw. It's Smith. He's got it to West on the dump off. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. They go play action here on first down. Caught on the right side, Reed. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Here's Smith. The loop. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Miles Garrett in there to get him for his second sack of the night. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. To throw on second down, Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school club. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one. Though. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Terrence West, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Here we go now as we get set for a... Back to throw, Smith. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there it worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. That's fielded in the end zone. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. Room here to run. And he's brought down. That good for 19 at a first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While well, other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy is going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. That goes for a gain of 31. Similar to a slam, it's all about timing when you're throwing a crossing route. Quarterback and receiver have to be in sync, and when they put it on them just right and catch it full speed, running through a defense, 
can often result in a big pickup of yardage. Flacco from the gun. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. Second down, Flacco to throw. To the right side and complete to Njoku. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. The offense on third down, it's been a prompt goal here. Back to throw. And he'll take it in. Zone for a Ravens touchdown. David and Joku from four yards out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And able to take it past the 20 a little bit, but no further. A flag in there as well. Let's see what this is. shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be a second down. Smith now to throw. Over the middle to back him. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Now Smith, and he finds the tight end, Reed, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. James and he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth now it's Smith he hits West underneath it's remaining on the clock First down, it's Smith. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll make it second down. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And his kick is good. The field goal is through the uprights, and they've won the Super Bowl. And the kings of the Super Bowl are the Washington Redskins. They win it, and they will get the Lombardi Trophy. 
And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports